So unfortunately for our man here, he did get some kind of uh, front end accident because the bumper is uh, not the same color. And then also you see that fender and hood have been replaced. And then for some reason he decided to go with uh, just the sanded and natural rust look, probably because he's a man of taste and sophistication, obviously. Hey, this is Caliger. Today on Junkyard Reviews, it's not going to be this Subaru. It's going to be the coolest Scion XP on Earth. Check this thing out. Got sick custom wheels, custom paint job. This thing has the works. Let's look at it. So unfortunately for our man here, he did get some kind of uh, front end accident because the bumper is uh, not the same color. And then also you see that fender and hood have been replaced. And then for some reason he decided to go with uh, just the sanded and natural rust look, probably because he's a man of taste and sophistication, obviously. Let's check this thing out. Doesn't look to be lowered though, but tough to tell with it sitting on stands like that. These are interesting cars to say the least. They were always had durable cloth material. Admittedly, I've not seen too many with torn seats, but the gauges and stuff in the middle, I'm not super duper fond of. And then you got this absolutely useless little slot here. Another useless little slot here. I mean, you gas it enough. Granted, these didn't come with a ton of horsepower. Your crap's going to fall out. Although, basic, easy to use uh, climate controls. I can appreciate that, as well as a very straightforward radio. Also good. This one was an automatic model, which just goes to that uh, sporty styling all the much more. Wow, headliner is gross. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, it's a brown color and it's not supposed to be brown. It's supposed to be like that bright gray right there, but this is all brown. Gross. Interesting with the paint there. Arkansas, Blue Ribbon Chevrolet, Pontiac Buick, blah, blah, blah. John Paul Jones. Boy, you know, there's just, hmm. I don't know. It's not super duper for me. If I had to own an XB, it would be one of these guys, I think. I do kind of like the next generation, but I don't know. I'd probably choose something else. Either way, thanks for watching. And you know, if that's uh, your favorite car, cool. Good for you. You know, I, I love cars, and that's why I spend so much time here in the junkyards. And uh, yeah, whatever it is, glad you like it. Thanks for watching.